corrections especially in the area of our business we ask for ideas that you send us a word that will turn around our businesses and career today in jesus name we give you praise in jesus name we pray can you put your hands together for the lord All right, welcome someone to your right and left. Tell them good morning. God bless you. All right, we may be seated. Welcome to business class. <laughs> Praise God. Like I told us last week, um, it is so important that you learn, but it's much more important that you put to practice what you have learned. Do we get that? Everybody can read or you can listen to a tutor or a trainer on how to build your muscles. It's easy. But by watching it on TV or watching it on DVD or watching people exercising or reading about it, we not build your muscles. Will it? Will it? If you really want to build your muscles, you have to get down and lift it. How true is that? So also coming to church and learning and hearing all these stuff, we not really put money in your pocket. You have to now get down to the action and take steps. And I'm trusting God and praying for us that uh, as we take these quality steps, there shall be result. In Jesus' precious name. All right, we are going to be teaching a bit. Then we go into uh, prayers. We'll be also be sharing the communion today. And we're trusting God that it will help us in Jesus' name. Turn it back. Okay. All right. Why businesses fail in Nigeria? Okay. Um, if you're watching online, some of this information can also be a blessing to you, depending on the country you're watching from. But I'm speaking to Nigerians uh, predominantly here. How true is that? And um, this principle is also cut across all businesses in other nations, but some are peculiar to our nation. Okay? Every nation have a peculiar trouble. <laughs> Abi? All right. So, um, some are global, some are peculiar to us in Nigeria. So, why businesses fail? All right? Uh, Psalm 1 and verse 3. Psalm 1. Psalm 1 and verse 3. And it shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water and bringeth forth its season, its fruit in its season. Its leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever it doeth shall what? That's God's will. The will of God is that any business you do will prosper. Say to yourself, whatever I lay my hands upon will prosper. Say to yourself, I belong to the generation of those that prosper in whatever they do therefore whatever i do i will prosper in it in jesus name so that's the will of god for us nevertheless ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 let's strike a balance ecclesiastes 10 and verse 15 the labor of the foolish will yet every one of them because why read it why why he knoweth not how underline that in your bible seven times <laughs> because he knoweth not how no wonder the bible called him what foolish because the same scripture says in all labor there is what profit and i believe the word of god so why will this one now engage in labor and there is no profit please learn to ask questions okay people that ask the right questions will get the right answers am i talking to us don't just do it do it do it do it do it do it, do it. i think you should begin to ask god why is it not working because you can be praying one line of prayer for 10 years and not getting any result. The labor of the, sorry, in all labor there is what? Profit. So why is, why am I engaging in labor and yet there is no what? 
profit that's a question and this is one of the answers the labor of the foolish does what weary at him a foolish man will labor on that and he will get weary with his labor and he will have no profit because he lacks wisdom because he knoweth not what how wisdom is the know-how do you agree oh do you agree wisdom is the know-how of everything how many of you know it's possible you have a phone you bought it with your money and you don't know the how i used my money to buy my car and i was searching for i need to press the real i need the real um wiper the, the, the wiper at the back is real right the real wiper i've been driving the car for two weeks i know get her and my money i take by him don't start laughing right now somebody said but the owner's manual is there how many nigerians read owner's manual we don't until it packs up they will now go and check it because before we bought it we already have a mentality of how to use it Abby? so you just get it the next you just plug it direct bam, and two weeks bam. so there was this day i was driving and my son was in the car he was just pressing something and just crap and the real mirror, uh, wiper started moving i said hey what did you press do it again he said, i have been such for two weeks so it is possible to have a thing and you don't know how to what to use it so the bible says this man labors and labors everybody see him busy he's even wearied out himself because of his labor but yet people can't see the profit and the main reason is because he knoweth not how to go to the city that city is success that city is breakthrough that city is getting what you desire so he couldn't get it because he knoweth not how so i'm praying for us as business people career people and whatever we do that the, our spiritual eyes and physical eyes shall be open to wisdom oh come on i say our eyes shall be open to wisdom Amen. you will know how Amen. in jesus name so why businesses fail in nigeria okay there is an organization called the united nations industrial development and investment and technology promotion in nigeria states that 80 percent of small businesses die in nigeria how many percent 80 percent of businesses die in nigeria so it's not enough that a business starts this organization said 80 percent of such small scale businesses that start eventually what dies so if 80 percent that started dies there must be something that is what killing them so we attempt to highlight some of those points today and see how we can go around them number one one major the first reason why businesses die in nigeria in africa and most part of the world is that the first reason is starting a business for his wrong reason starting a business for a wrong reason now when you start up a business for a wrong reason it is so sure if not absolutely sure such a business cannot last when challenges comes starting a business for a wrong reason and one of the wrong reason is number one starting a business for financial gain you don't start a business because you want more money no you start a business because there is passion in you to do it starting a business for financial gain is the wrong reason why are you in business i want to make more money i want to be able to put my bills no you don't start a business because of that number two starting big one of the wrong reasons why businesses fail is starting big people want to start a business and instead of starting it small and watching it grow they just want to start in a big way so that everybody will know they are out i've taught us in one uh, in this are series that don't start don't put all your investment in a business that you have not tried out first don't put all your eggs in a basket like they will say you are starting up a new business don't start that big start in a way that if there is any challenge you can easily come back 
Is someone learning? Come on, is someone learning? Okay. The third point under that is starting a business for a wrong reason. The third wrong reason is having sentiment. Having sentiment. Number one, sentiment for families. If I start this business now, my brother will, be ha will have a place to work. Huh? If I start this business now, my friends will have a place to work. At least if I start this now, and people have sentiment about location. This is where I'm living. My shop should be around my house. Have you noticed that? Okay, you want to open a spa shop where people come for massage and all that, and you stay around, um, you stay inside Baroa, and because you don't want to go too far, you just okay, let me start that same business in that local area. That location, you pick the location by what? Sentiment. And you are very sure that business will collapse. Because such area is not good for such business. True of us? Never start a business based on sentiment. I want my families to work. One of the reasons why some banks, some old banks, like, uh, 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 I don't want to mention some banks here. Some of our old banks had major problem in those days because uh, this one is the boss. His junior brother is working there. His senior, his uncle, nephew, everybody all joined there. Oh, my mini, Joshi, can you? Joshi. After a while, the business, the banking industry almost went down until they have to change some of their policies. When you are sentimental about business, that thing is going down. In fact, it's not only about business alone, even in ministry and everything we do. Sentiment can kill visions and direction. I like us to just know that whatever you do if you're sentimental about people you are employing or sentimental about people you are reaching out to it's going to destroy and some people have some beliefs some some ideas in their mind about businesses is so bad so when you are under this weight it will be very difficult for you to grow your business in Nigeria. number two the second reason why businesses die is lack of proper planning lack of proper what Oh, talk to me, church. Lack of proper what? Planning. Lack of proper planning. Someone said, he who fails to plan. Uh, come on now. Who fails to plan? Had already planned to fail. Lack of proper planning. Now, businesses don't just prosper themselves. Uh, organization don't just prosper themselves if the system working that organization and business is not perfect it won't function well are we together now are we together now so no matter how you speak in tongues as a believer sometimes we tend to spiritualize everything and we don't get blessing from it now under that point when you have a poor business plan your poor business plan what is the strategy before you start up in any business there's something called business plan isn't it okay what's your business plan have you written it out some don't even know what business plan is the strategy you want to use your aims your objectives the staffs the kind of staffs i was speaking to one of my son that's a pilot he was in the office um some three days ago he works um uh, with um, Ruan Hair. He was first with Eric before he went to Ruan Hair. Now he's, um, he's coming into Emirate. Uh, he's gone through some of their uh, trainings and uh, just one more step. He had to do practical in Dubai. So we were discussing and he said uh, Emirate had nine planes that is on ground. And no one is flying so they have serious need for staffs yet they are not employing just anybody so the last batch they have uh, 15 people that went in and out of that 15 all the 15 had all the qualification yet they picked only two so you are very selective with your staff are we together Oh, are we together? Can you imagine? Jesus. I had to learn this painfully. Jesus did not start ministry with sentiment. Huh? 
he prayed all night because he wanted to choose how many 12 and out of the 12 despite all his prayer can't, please jesus is god though <laughs> is the god of gods he knows the end from where from the beginning yet out of his 12 there was one judas so there is no how sharp i am god forbid that among my 12 there will be seven judas you're laughing <laughs> because if jesus can have one judas among his 12 and he's god of gods lords of lords <laughs> preacher of preachers Uh, how many of you know that life is a training school itself? How true is that? You just you just keep getting better. You keep fine tuning yourself and your ideas every time. Number two, inability to move with trend and changing technology. Under lack of proper planning, inability to move with what? With trend and changing technology. This is important. This is important. In any line of business you are doing please check what is the market trend number two what new technology is coming in into that area of business so you can get involved am i speaking to us now some tools you were using five years i don't need to tell you that right now they are what outdated so sometimes you need to send yourself back to school to learn the new technology that goes in line with the kind of business you're doing. Under that lack of knowledge and experience in your chosen field. Of course, you can't have proper planning if you lack knowledge and experience in the, in the field you have chosen to run your business. the the twist in business in our generation is not hard work it is mind work is someone getting that the twist in businesses in our generation is not what it's not hard work it's not how it's not it has nothing to do with your muscle is what mind work and to get that you need to go for knowledge There is at least one, two, three, four, five, six new books that has been written about your chosen field. How many do you have? Don't just go into business and start it. How many, before you start off at all, how many research have you done? Uh, I was shocked. I was listening to Bishop Oedepo and he said, before he started living faith, he studied 19 books. How many books? 19 of churches how they started and how they did well 19 before he started a church how many of us did that huh do people do that now just drink bell hallelujah god is god hallelujah i will do it like that and shout and five years the thing is down because there is no root many businesses also started that way out of this poor of the moment everybody is making money and i want to make money and they just start off and between two years he has sold his car sold his house to start out of lack of understanding and he's not gathering more knowledge that has to do with what he's doing and before long the business is gone and all his investment and the next thing an african man will say powers from my father's house that's a cheap way now that's a cheap way to find an excuse for failure in Africa. Now my mama, they do me. If your mama, they do it for, don't kill you before you, they burn you. Okay, under lack of proper plan is also inadequate consultation. Inadequate what? Consultation. Please, let me say this. Um people think consultation is selling their ideas to a superior guy no when you consult a person that is above you like a mentor or something you are not selling your ideas in fact you are tapping into his own ideas it's insecurity to think speaking to a mentor is selling your ideas have you had people say that 
I want to keep what I want to do. I don't want anybody to know. You keep it and you die with it. Quietly, nobody will hear about you. But for a balance, you must also know who you are discussing it with. Because really, <laughs> I was listening to a man of God. He said, the first book he wrote, he gave it to somebody to edit for him. The next thing he saw was that the person printed the book in his name. He said, he went to him and said, sir, the book you are editing for me. He said, your book is not your book, it's my book. He said, ah, he saw it on the shelf, already printed and released. Because he does not have, he lack money. There is no money for him to print. So he gave to the guy to help him edit and do, Agasa, if you can help me. The guy just got ISBN and printed it himself. There are mentors that are tormentors. And some are mentolator. If you try to put them in your eyes or your lower, are you getting it now? But please, you mind who you share your ideas and vision with. But the Bible says, in multitude of counsel, purpose is preserved. That's the word of God. So you still need to consult someone but please make sure you are consulting the right person and people that want to meet with a counselor a consultant with marital issue please mind who you consult when it comes to marriage i just have to chip that in. am i talking to you uh -oh. am i talking to us please check the background of the person what are the beliefs of the person when it comes to marriage before you carry your marriage matter to the person but we are discussing business here please check if someone is going to be a business mentor to you you must have seen him does much more than you are doing right now very important okay still on number two lack of proper planning the next point there is lack of good feedback please what is feedback when you are running a business or whatever you are doing you must wait and be willing to receive feedback from people um even eat trees if you enter and right now you see they drop something on your table they want you to comment you comment on the staff you comment on the food you comment on the environment you comment on this you know why that is important so they can know where their weaknesses are where their strong uh, where their strength is you know the sort of organization s w a is it o or a OT. so they can know their strength their weaknesses so they can build it up lack of proper feedback is also a show of lack of proper plan number three why businesses fail in nigeria number three is insufficient funding how many of you will agree with that insufficient what funding hmm. that is serious insufficient funding everybody complains when you talk to people about business they say, ah, there is no money to start and some people seated here too that the major problem why they think their business is not moving or why they have not started anything is because they are looking for capital but listen there is always a way if we think right there is always what a way if you think right I got a testimony of someone um he needed about 20 million to start a business 20 million now before you speak to people to help you financially to start something you must have built credibility with them they'll talk to me now you must have built what credibility with them if you are not a credible person nobody's going to release their money for you so all these one that they, they you say borrow me money they borrow you you refuse to pay back uh this one you work for this one you are not paying them fully in the church five six seven people can say you hold them the money may look small maybe five thousand ten thousand but a day is coming a big money will be needed the person will have it and they won't what they won't give you because you are not credible with little things you know what uh, the scripture says if you are not faithful with little who will give you much the young man needed 20 million for a business and the business is solid the idea is cool and it's going to yield so much but his capital base is just five thousand five million and he needed 20 million so while he was in service like this the idea came 
that called so and so called this person called this person he left the church and put up a call and the first one said wow you know you're, you have been a good person and really i just feel like helping you favor is there also i feel like helping you and the person says, okay come to my office tomorrow the second person he called say come to my office on tuesday the third person he called said call me again on thursday by friday to be ready that week he got 15 million what is that opm what's opm other people's money even in the scripture uh, the prophet told the woman go borrow vessel from your neighbor borrow not a few i told you that's what leveraging okay when you borrow a capital base or uh, or machinery to upgrade your business it is not bad debt it's a good debt that's what is called what leverage are we together so there is always someone around you either connected to you or an, and there are organizations on a, uh, everywhere if you solve the internet that offer grants they call it grants right that you can pick up and use for your businesses to start off we are still going to spend a time on how to source finance finance for your business it's going to be a day topic we're going to deal with that but please i'm just chipping this in if you are not faithful if you are not a person of integrity uh, nobody's going to commit money to your hands i think it's stupidity if i borrowed you fifty thousand and you refuse to pay me back and i have to fight you and fight you and fight you and you are paying me back for five thousand after three times you didn't pay the rest and now you needed three hundred thousand and you want me to borrow you i'll be very foolish to borrow you and i know i'm not <laughs> are we together now so be faithful in little things because you may need the same person someday for something bigger number four i want to rush quickly so we can have some time to pray and share the communion why businesses fail in nigeria poor management poor what uh talk to me poor what ah this is like a nigerian disease every new government comes up with new policy with new thing on our road with new things in our school and before two years everything is what destroyed and the next one come and put it back again everything especially in government parastatas local government state government because they know it's not their money it's the government that is putting it there are we together and since the government is the one putting it they use it poor management if you don't use well the first thing you have or you had you have no chance of getting another one look at this can we be very practical if i give you a shirt or a shoe okay and um the first day you wore it looks so good on you and two three weeks down the line you have spoiled it and you came back to me and said sir i need another shoe and it's not up to two months and i can see really that the first one i give to you you have what you are spoiled do you think i'm going to give you another one one major thing that kills businesses is management or poor management because as an entrepreneur you are a manager you manage people you manage resources you manage their time you manage their time it's, it's just that i don't know that in nigeria there is no there is no i don't think there is there is there is value for time you can correct me i don't think there is value for time when they are employing you they tell you you resume by seven and close by four hey that is in paper when you resume you will know that you can actually resume by that seven but you may not close you may not close until six thirty they have no value for your time and when you leave the office on the island by 6 30 you know you are getting around this area by 10 30 11. i drove three hours four hours last week from lekki down here serious headache 
I'm not used to that. <laughs> Serious what? Headache. I went for a conference. Can you imagine? All the eight CDs for the two days in the conference. I listened to every one of them in traffic. My shoe was hot and I removed it. After a while, I wore it back. I didn't even know what to do. I was pouring water on my head in AC in the car. The heat was bad. The road was bad. Everything bad. No value for time. That's why in um, civilized nations in Europe and all that, they pay you per what? A time. Nobody pays you salary. They pay for your time. So, one day you can work in three different places. Because now waiting. A time. Niger, they will use you. And when you are going home, they give you, you still go home with your laptop. In Nigeria, when they give you a laptop, your organ don't like you. They'll be saying like you. You know what? Out of your rest time at home, is going to take out of it. And you know, those things affect marriages. You have gone out from morning. The woman had been waiting, sending text messages. It's been this, she's been waiting. And now you came in around 10 30. You managed to hit after it. Ah, something. You are back again pressing. Instead of pressing. <laughs> Poor management. All right. Management of people. Management of machinery, management of time, management of resources. Okay? Under that is also bad managerial skill. Under poor management is bad debt. You know what is called bad debt? You know what is called bad debt? Debt is debt. But some debts are good. Some are bad. I told you investment, upward spiral and downward spiral. You still remember? The upward spiral are the investment into things that moves you upward, things that increases in value. And um, downward spiral investment is putting your money in something that loses value. You know, the moment you buy it, the second day it becomes tokumbo. <laughs> the, the value just drops from, from 100% to 70%. You've lost. Okay. Bad debt. When you borrow from either bank, from organization, from people, or from even your organization on things that is not increasing the asset base of your business, you are into bad what? Debt. And it's also under poor management because that's a poor financial management of the organization, which is bad. Then under poor management is also internal fraudulent activities. Hmm. For example, snakes swallowing 36 million. Monkey running away with 71 million. <laughs> Everybody is looking for a snake now. <laughs> AY put it on his page and he said, the monkey that stole 71 million from Nigeria is in Dubai having good time. <laughs> Nigeria we hear D. <laughs> People don't know what to lie again. I think the children of that woman, when she gets home, they should tell her, Ma, I think you are a dollar, you are crazy, ma. Snake swallowed money. Monkey has sat has stopped hitting bananas. It's a 71 million internal fraudulent what activities is still under poor management. That has killed many businesses in Nigeria and is still killing Nigeria as a whole. God deliver us. we are not ashamed of ourselves the more, if you travel outside the country 
the moment they see green card they give you special check wear color as a pastor they can even tell you to remove it first let them check <laughs> can you see that thank you monkey eating money <laughs> no more banana for monkey <laughs> the monkeys in nigeria has, they have outgrown bananas all they eat is naira and dollars it's only in nigeria you find a lump sum of dollars packed up in a shelf and nobody planted it there it just appeared and suddenly it's also disappeared Niger. You see, all of this is breaking the strength of education in a in a in a country. Okay, if someone can still search and nothing is done, and Big Brother Africa, people sleeping with themselves on national TV, and they are winning forty million naira with a car. So, what's somebody going to school to learn? I know there are some people here they are waking up late some can't even make the first service because they were watching big brother while they were sleeping you were up watching them sleeping isn't that foolishness come let's think about it they are acting and in the night they are sleeping and you you are doing like this because you want to watch somebody that is sleeping what are they doing on that the juvie what's your own business Someone now will waste all his money on data because he wants to watch Big Brother. You don't know they are even they are already calling you Big Sister because you are getting older and you are not achieving nothing. So when a nation begins to lift things like that, it's going to affect the educational aspect. Abi, in those days they told us that if you don't read your book. So, if you don't study, you are going to be poor. In our generation, they have changed it. And it told more way. No more way. <laughs> so, it is no more a way, it is way. And what do they, what are they calling the way? Anything. Wrong. Hmm. Internal fraudulent work activities. Number five. Why businesses die in Nigeria? Lack of business visibility. Lack of business what? Visibility. Please. The location of your business cannot be overemphasized. You set up a business in the wrong location, it will die. It's not a cost. Have you seen filling station in a corner? Corner, 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 corner inside. Let the do. <laughs> filling what? Filling station. So you have to, even the filling station, well, I'm a Jew, so you have to go, go, go. All filling stations know, all filling station owners know that their station must be where? On, by the roadside. So everybody can see it affected me as a pastor while starting off because i like this knowledge if i have to start church afresh i know what more to do i tell you you know where we started our church i can now answer how many of you were with me then uh thank you for enduring those days the lord will bless you and keep you in jesus name all right i remember i stood outside the gate of the church for 45 minutes no person pass no okada no venko it's like a grave site how many minutes 45 i was checking 40 it was 46 to 47 minutes that the first person even bird no fly 
I'm telling you, that was how dry the location was. And we went there and started a church. Huh. I prayed, I almost died. Pray, 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 pray. Father, bring them. Father, bring them. Father, bring them. No people where they go come. <laughs> oh, Lord God, you are good. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Poor location. Poor market visibility. Business visibility is very, very important. You must get your business to the places where it can be seen. Am I talking to us now? either physical location or location on the internet it must be what seen it is what people see that they patronize how true is that you are running supermarket and you now went and rented the seven story building and there is no lift <laughs> there is no lift and it's up there so people go Climb 1,000 steps before they get... Excuse me, they will go somewhere else. How true? Yeah. Very true. And I'm not talking about um, very classic business places. Are you getting me? There are some uh, buildings on the highland and even in the Keja. They look so beautiful. The lift is good. Even before uh, you will get there, you won't even have any pain. Are you getting what I'm saying? Uh, but this one, the place is... Please say no fine. I for should no lift in a step the step safe two people can pass at the same time you have to do like this oh, yeah. and now you, you run in supermarket and your store is on the seventh floor he said I love paint house <laughs> I visited our Ikeja church or something I said, this is really youth church. <laughs> it's so high. Now, poor location. Number two, poor promotion. Number three, poor knowledge of market what? Train. When organizations do the, all this promotion, you know, uh, you, you see them on the road playing music, sharing these, and sometimes they are on TV, all this promotion on TV. You know what they are doing? They are projecting their businesses. Making their business visible for people. Advertising your business is a must. Is a what? It's a must. Advertisement is one major aspect of business that you can't run down. Otherwise, the business can go down. Because people have to know you before they what? Patronize you. Nobody comes to run a, to patronize a business they don't know about. So check you, the advertisement of your organization or your business. If it's not perfect, add to it. Invest in it. Are we together? Oh, are we together? Very, very important. Number what now? Number six, poor customer service. Poor customer service service i heard the documentary about mercedes benz they brought in a new um ceo over the company <clears throat> and um mercedes benz had a very strong brand for many years because of performance the performance of their product is excellent how many of you agree with me mercedes benz is strong rugged and they've maintained that for a very long time so the new guy did a survey and he noticed that their, um, their customer service was very, very poor. That the weakness of the organization is their customer service. They don't relate well with people. People patronize them basically because of their what? Product. Their strength is their product. Their weakness is their customer care. So what he did was that he invested heavily in the customer service and brought in people to train he also subjected himself to the training to retrain them on how to deal with customers in such a way that even if you don't like the product when the customers attend to you you'll eventually like it have you seen people come to you with a product the product is good but the way they are talking to you you just hate the product 
and some you don't have you don't need the product but this person is just so good the way he was talking and because of his sweet mouth you eventually bought it though you don't need it so the customer service is very 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 important in fact before people get to know the organization it is the customer service people just like the m and g's i've told them they are like the customer service agents of the church someone is coming at your front of your office can you see this lady shouting on people on the phone when you do like that the person will not be able to call back again Whew. customer service poor customer service poor marketing under that incompetent staffs when you want cheap staffs uh, cheap workers you don't want to employ professionals because professionals will cost you uh, professionals will cost more so you just want um sse oh it's those kind of people she will bring into the organization can you see this one this one is <laughs> he just he just slept off incompetent staffs because all through the night he was watching big brother ninja so he gets to the office in the morning the next thing he does is what sleep off incompetent staffs another point on that is over dependence on a single customer over dependent on what on the single customer you because this person is patronizing your business and is doing well so you now want to you focus on him alone if anything happens to him and he stops that business will what suffer just as you love him and you are taking care of that company or that person as a good customer you also search out for many others mm. rude and untrained staffs so organizations spend a not a long time and enough money training and retraining their staffs because the strength of the staffs is also the strength of the what organization how true is that very true so if you have rude untrained staffs it's going to affect um, your business number seven on separated business entity what do i mean by that on separated business entity inability to separate yourself as a person away from your business the lawyer did a good job on that on registration that was why he said you should register as a what limited liability company and not just maybe an enterprise or blessing and sons <laughs> blessing and son groups <laughs> you are different this spring is a body different pastor blessing is different so god forbid anything happens to me or to the church it doesn't touch each other the church has its trustee has its governing body that represented me and me person myself now from there your income must be different from the income of your business if you're running a business and your uh, account number is the account business or business account sorry uh, some people will not do business with you huh? some are very sensitive okay i'm going to do this for this name of your company uh, this that 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 okay uh, how do we pay we want to pay for your service and the next thing is you are sending your personal private accounts it sounds somehow isn't it it should be the company's what the company's account so put yourself away make yourself a different entity from your business so that the money can be separated are we together we've talked about you paying yourself so that's very important you are different from your business running the same account with your business is very very wrong number eight let me rush now so we can pray quitting too early businesses die in nigeria because people quit too early people quit too early nobody wants to stay long enough on the line of business everybody shouting dangote is rich how long has he been doing what he's doing huh 
not 10 not 20 many more years he's just been there it's as if he knew his direction and he stood there when you have grown so well in one line you cannot diversify into another but that doesn't mean you are leaving your original what business original line because it's not easy for you to be known with a particular thing it takes years are we together now so after you have built credibility on the line you don't just drop it i've seen this problem with christians i'm doing this now between six months they have changed again you are looking for them on that business line they've left there they are doing something else jack of all two years ten businesses to build a name that will last in an area you have to stay there for a long time are we together don't quit so early that guy was close to the how close was he very close but he was tired when you quit too early you miss the blessing you're desiring in your business and people quit too early because of inability to handle harsh competi competition okay number nine and give us 10 that will be out today number nine harsh governmental and governmental economical and monetary policy number nine harsh governmental economical and monetary policies these are laws these are policies that um, the government puts in place that does not allow for businesses to grow well in our nation and this is so clear to almost everybody here you understand what you're talking about this is nigeria this is so peculiar to us every new government that comes in puts in something that affects one business or the other and one of the problem is i don't think there is a national lawyer you can help us i don't think there is a national vision that everybody comes in and just submits themselves to everyone okay whatever this government is doing for four years or eight years another government comes and if and it nullifies all those things and it starts his own afresh so that one become abandoned what project and wait so if you study the paper they have paid twice of the money that will finish the project yet the project is what abandoned unfinished so this one comes he takes his eyes away from that he now starts his own because he must also hit his but when there is a national vision where you know you come in it's a digital thing not analog when it's analog you can change it am i talking to us when it's digital you know you, you met it there it's been running that way you can't just come and what and change it many policies this one will come with this this one will come with this came now they've cancelled loma right they've brought in missionscape visionscape and i was told it's not even from nigeria from dubai okay can you see how they are sabotaging it now they're already sabotaging the new thing they put death everywhere in the road our roads are mud death everywhere on the road now you know what they are doing they are trying to sabotage the new one so they can go back to why did they cancel the first one internal somebody has become billionaire on that one so they have to close this one somebody just brought a new idea and said okay let's cancel this one this one this that that that, that. Said, okay yes it becomes the law you two take it up no continuity in governance no continuity power problem is it killing businesses <laughs> what do you think will happen to industry and commerce if there is 24 hour power supply it will try power supply good road network a papa area then then talk say the road fine where where but are you are your area number one <laughs> the 
Do you know how much money the government makes every day from the port? Every what? Millions, billions. Every day. Don't talk about week. Don't talk about month. And yet, permit my English, that's the baddest road. <laughs> And we went to a country where we drove for seven hours. No bomb. We got tired on the road. And there are places where you can rest. We drove into a place. I said, can I have a rest? Money. Ah. So big. The supermarket. There's this. There's that. It's life. There's life there. Security. People sleep. And I pack off there and relax a while. After 40 minutes, okay, let's go on again. I say, hey. <laughs> uh, they come man. Uh, you try this in my Niger <laughs> for roadside roadside inside forest <laughs> you yourself you can't even try it <laughs> so you see people even prefer to travel by road than by fly cross country uh, states travel they just travel for hours there are some states in the u.s that you can travel 12 hours from one location to the other 24 hours a whole day you're on the road no bomb ha! now people they live there no be angels oh and when a new government comes in we shall make road we shall make this we shall give life excuse me what are you expected to do before that shouldn't be a promise should it be a promise it shouldn't be a promise it should be a normal thing we are not animals we are people anyway there are more animals on the road now abby god forbid that monkeys will invade the city now because monkeys are chopping money <laughs> oh. infrastructure problem no flexible loan that can help businesses to grow but the loans that will kill businesses 10 percent 20 percent say wait here political instability it's killing then number 10 the last one they will go up to pray breaking your covenant responsibility as a christian you know that when you break a spiritual law it affects every physical thing that you do see let's note this it is so it may have nothing to do with understanding about your business but that is the background for your success as a believer are we together are we together breaking your covenant responsibility the bible says abraham paid the tithe of all the guys that works with him that's the tithe for his organization not just his personal tithe but the tithe for his organization they paid for it this church pays tight i as the pastor pays tight in there are individual tight there is organizational tight abraham did it the bible taught us to do it and every businessman and woman you want your business to strive you must also learn to do it this is my covenant practice to god it has nothing to do with anybody I'm in a covenant relationship with God. Your first, your first fruit, also part of it. Blessing the needy. I've told you that before. As a business owner, you have an organization. Make sure that once a while, yearly, make it a yearly thing. From your organization, something leaves you to be a blessing to the less privileged. Are you hearing this? Oh, are you hearing this? See, it's not what you hear. It's what you do make it a yearly thing that every year something leaves you to bless someone and please um, don't follow those that try to twist the mind of ignorant people on the internet that you should use your tithe to bless the less privileged they are two different things my tithe is to God blessing the less privileged is my blessing to humanity they are two basic different things the bible teaches us to do the titan the bible also teaches us to bless our neighbors isn't it 
and so we shouldn't you, you can't say because you have paid for your handout that the payment for your handout is your school fees and you want to convert that to your school fees is that true i want to graduate already i want to be a result to go <laughs> there are two different things your covenant responsibility that gives you foundation for your business to stand and lastly under that your kingdom partnership very important what are you doing to partner with the kingdom of god to move it forward lord i want you to make my business global and you look at a thing in the church that helps the church of god to stand in that area of global recognition as we invest into that it also comes back into that which you are doing personally give god the thanks we'll be bringing the award uh, on so next week we got an award from acbn for an outstanding um for an outstanding performance on our tv broadcast um will be will be one year one year on acbn network by march <laughs> so i will bring the award to the church on sunday it's already in my office and i i really want to celebrate the partners those that have helped us to stay on that network for a year um for those that are not watching we receive calls from dubai we receive calls from united kingdom for those watching online calls from everywhere people calling and getting blessed the the two ladies that came to my office to present their award says um they have a way of knowing how many viewers from their system they have a way of knowing how many viewers are watching they said they came to realize that we have more viewers watching our program and just 30 minutes that they are waiting to hear your pastor speak because of that they brought a special award and it was a great blessing to me i collected it and i said father i give it back to you thank you for the privilege you have given to this epaja local boy to preach the gospel to the hands of the earth and i want to say a big thank you to the partners thank you for supporting us and um we are not there yet it's my prayer that before the end of this year we'll be at least on three four networks yeah. how many of you really desire that is it possible before the year we are on three four networks where you finish watching us on channels television you come on uh tbn we are there you come on ait your pastor faces there again see when you see churches a a, a, a pastor like david Biome. Huh? And I'm intentionally mentioning his name, mentioning his name. That man is really investing in broadcasting. He's in mention it, both local and international. He's still on ACBN, and he also has his own cable. His own cable where they televise, where they show the church and the program for 24 hours. Right now, Facebook like Facebook Live is also everywhere and is on over 25 to 30 different networks around the globe so you can't say the church won't grow of course that is the power of what advertisement the power of what advertisement putting your market what you do in the face of the people that needs it i'm praying for every business person here the lord will increase you and bless you are you blessed stand to your feet let's pray